Hi guys, so I want to make this video um, addressing a few questions that I get all of the time and um, the two questions that I get would be how did you get your hair that thick? How did you grow your hair that long? So recently I posted my um, four years natural video and a lot of people were saying like that they've been natural for four years and they're barely bra strap length. How did I do like how did I get my hair to grow? Um, one thing I do want to be clear about is that yes my four year anniversary was on January 21st of this year. However I did transition for four months in 2011 but I was still using heat at that time so when I big chopped I had half an inch of hair. Um, I had to cut off like three, three or four inches because it was heat damaged. So pretty much even though I haven't had a relaxer since 2011, you know, I basically had half an inch of hair starting from January to now. So that's why I say my four year natural anniversary. So um, my first question, how did you get your hair so thick? I didn't do anything to get my hair thick. It's naturally thick. Um, I have... I've always had thick hair. The only time my hair ever wasn't thick is when I was uh, severely anemic and they gave me iron pills that made my hair fall out. And that was the probably the one time that I knew what it was like to not have thick hair. Now uh, other than that, no one else in my family has hair as thick as mine. I have a really huge family um, on my mom's side and my dad's side. Both sides have women with long hair. Um, but none of them have hair as long or as thick as mine. So I don't really know like where that even comes from. But pretty much all of my life, everyone has been like, you you have like a weird amount of hair. I mean, they didn't mean it in a bad way. Um, but it, it basically, I'm the only one. So one thing, so I really can't say anything about like how to get your hair thicker because I've been like this since the day I was born. Now, how, do, how did I get my hair long? Yes, my hair has always been long, but um, instead of like saying, well, genetics, I do want to point out like ever since I was basically a baby, my mom took care of my hair. Um, you know, she basically did like the same stuff that I do now, and those methods were passed on to me, which is low manipulation and just, um, you know, I never wore weaves, like I don't wear wigs, I don't, I just leave my hair alone and it grows. And I would say like your diet and like drinking a lot of water and making sure that you get like all your nutrients and vitamins, all of that matters. So yes, I could be uh, genetically predisposed to having long hair, but there is a matter of maintaining the hair that you grow, which is what most people have, you know, problems with. I really in general don't have problems retaining length only because you know I just do I do very little to my hair. I I would say I do 50% protective styling, 50% wash and goes. I just alter the times that I do what I do so that I'm not putting continual stress on one part of my head. So as far as like how did I grow my hair long? I'm not afraid to dust my ends every six to eight weeks because that promotes, you know, healthy hair. Um, now that my hair is almost at a terminal length, I don't need to cut the ends as often because it's not growing. It's not really, I don't want to say it's not growing as fast, but I don't need to trim it, you know, six to eight weeks. Now I think I can go more like eight to 12 or maybe a little bit more. But I always tell people, cut your hair, um, at the rate that you need to like don't do what I do just because you think it's gonna like make your hair grow you know do like listen to your body and that's that's what I always say like do what works for you so as far as like my entire journey I pretty much already went into this knowing I'm gonna have to find a way to do as little as possible because if I if I'm always restyling my hair and like doing all this stuff I'm just gonna get frustrated and then I'm gonna want to cut it off so that's what that's pretty much all I can say is um, mix up your hairstyles like if you like wearing braids as a protective style I wouldn't say like 
just wear braids constantly because that's going to put stress on certain parts of your hair that might be weaker. Um, getting a good rhythm and alternating your styles is key in my opinion. And um, I do believe in protective styling. I enjoy protective styles like this and I also enjoy um, stretching my hair with twist outs and twists and curls. So I would say like, oh and another thing, don't don't like get into every like hype that comes out, you know, on YouTube. I keep reading like people are just like latching onto like whatever the new thing is and then like after a couple months they mess up their hair. So I can tell you guys I haven't latched onto any like fads or like whatever the newest like hype is. Um the only thing that I really cared about this whole time was doing uh, using products that are pH balanced. Other than that, I don't do anything, you know, I don't put any, I don't mix a whole bunch of stuff and put like all the stuff in my hair. I keep it so simple. And you know, when people ask me, how did you get your hair so long? What do you do? I'm, I tell them, I say, keep it as simple as possible. And they just look at me and they're like, that's it. Like, I don't have a secret to getting my hair long. I just take care of it and I maintain it and I just I do what I've always done and what my mom taught me how to do you know like I basically was 10 years old with the same amount of hair doing my own hair on my own you know so I know this video is not gonna be like informative in the way like what's my secret but like since I get the question so much I felt like I should just make a video just like addressing it. This pretty much is my routine. This is my routine. If I am doing a wash and go, then I, I do the wash and go and I try to stretch it out at least two weeks if I can get it two weeks. I don't pineapple. My hair is too dense to pineapple. So the most I can do is put a clip in it on each side and then cover it with a scarf and then uncover it in the morning. Um, usually it doesn't tangle, you know, so like I just, I have videos showing you guys my night routine. So I don't really have a problem with tangling or moisture or any of that. And so it's really like simple. And then as far as stretch styles go, I do the same thing. I'm either gonna wear that style for three weeks or I'm gonna wear it for four weeks. I'm gonna cover it with a scarf. I don't rebraid or re-roll or anything unless I absolutely have to. Um, depending on the time of the year here in Florida, sometimes I will have to add more moisture during the week, but other than that, I don't do anything. So I'm washing my hair every two to two weeks or every three to four weeks. And I already told you guys how I trim. Um, I just make sure that I drink enough water every day. Um, I have a, a water app on my phone called, um, water your body. It helps me, you know, make sure that I'm getting enough water. Um, I make sure that I'm eating healthy, like vegetables, fruits, like all of that. As far as my iron levels go, I do not take iron pills. Um, I stopped taking them. But what I do is I cook a lot in cast iron. And so you get the iron from that. And I eat a lot of foods that are rich in iron, like eggs. And, um, you know, I drink like orange juice, which helps you maintain the iron. So I look after, you know, my vitamin intake, but as far as me taking any pills or supplements or anything like that, I don't take them. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them. Um, and I guess I will just see you guys all later.